Got an old slouch hat. Got my roll on my shoulder. I'm as free as a breeze, and I'll do as I please. Just a bummer. The uh, term homeless is not really a, an accurate term of uh, a homeless population in Manhattan or any of the various boroughs of New York City because what you have within that population, just as you have within the population of people who um, have an address and are gainfully employed or are of independent means and have an address, what you have there is a very diverse population within itself. But it is uh, rather separate uh, socially for the most part from the rest of Manhattan. Anyway, there is a, a um, there's a diverse type of people within this population that uh, is often put into a bubble uh, when we describe it as, as homeless. You have a population of people, some of them, who uh, would be called in some cities canners. These are people who pick up uh, bottles and cans and they uh, uh, redeem them for money. You have people who are uh, mainly just scavengers. They're not necessarily looking for food, but they're scavenging for money or uh, they do uh, perhaps opportunist crimes of uh, grabbing a purse or a camera or a phone or something like that. And then there's some people that are just like pack rats who just have gone completely nuts and they just are always picking up new things or interesting things or uninteresting things and just loading them up and saving them in bags and bags and bags. And that's where you get the term bag lady. Uh, living as and living with these various uh, types of people and uh, uh, analyzing them as best I could, uh, I could identify uh, specific uh, 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 social and uh, uh, certain tight constructs within this group, just as we have in individuals who have a, uh, a job, just as someone who's an auto worker or a, or a waiter or whatever. Uh, on Manhattan proper, it generally is a nomadic existence for uh, most individuals who would be in the homeless category, because years ago during the uh, Giuliani administration in particular, uh, the uh, ability to uh, have a, a homeless person build a little uh, hut or a shelter of some sort on their own and uh, uh, have that as their regular permanent or semi-permanent base um, is over. You have to be uh, always on the move at some point, whether fast or slow. And uh, so what you have is a sort of a traveling population. You can even get Brazilian human hair, and you don't even have to buy a Brazilian. Oftentimes, when uh, one rides the bus or the train, when they fall asleep uh, in, in uh, New York or any major city in America that has uh, public transportation, the individual will receive uh, free and no charge uh, air conditioning tailoring, which uh, I, I say that in the tongue in cheek, where when you fall asleep, there's these characters that what they do is they take a box cutter usually or some other sharp uh, knife or, or blade and they will uh, slice the pockets of their mark, uh, who isn't necessarily a homeless person, often they target the uh, uh, Latin uh, men who are going home early in the morning with a pocket full of cash. I placed what uh, I referred to myself uh, as the cheese, a wallet with nothing in it, in my pocket. And so I, uh, uh, I didn't quite fall asleep, but I was uh, making out as though I was. And I felt a tapping on my body. What they like to do is they like to see if you are asleep. So they'll tap your foot or they'll, they'll tap your chest. And if you were to wake up, they'd say, oh, I, I uh, saw you sleeping. Uh, you better not sleep or someone will hurt you. Or they'll say, uh, oh, I thought maybe you might have missed your stop or something like that. Or by the way, have you got a cigarette? Some of the fellows are very clever. One fellow, he cut the front of a, uh, uh, this uh, parka that I was wearing. And uh, I said, hey, you're trying to rob me. And he said, no, you lie. And I said, oh, really? And uh, he folded up his knife. Another time I woke up and this uh, woman uh, had her hand in my pocket of my coat and I said, you're trying to rob me. And she says, no, I'm not. So I gave her the benefit of the doubt and I asked her, well, if you're not trying to rob me, what's going on? She says, well, you don't remember, but uh, you owe me money.
when I'm walking around and not bathing at, at a regular uh, schedule, what happens uh, often is that people are perturbed by how I smell, and so am I sometimes. So I was at a drugstore waiting in line for whatever it was I was buying, and this uh, uh, female bitch person behind me decides that she's going to make me smell a little better, so she sprays perfume on me. And I turned around and I said, listen, cunt, if you spray that on me once more, uh, you're going to need some uh, major plastic surgery because I'm going to put a few extra holes in your body. If I could, I'd like to hire a private detective to find out where she is to completely embarrass her uh, in front of the whole world so you could all send her nasty emails and um, her, get her address so you could all mail her fish heads and things like that. The drugstore in back of me is a Duane Reed. You might want to bleep that out or keep it. Uh, at Fifth Avenue and 44th. Now, a few months ago was when I last quit visiting this store because I was in there, and of course I don't look uh, well. I don't look too stylish. And as I'm going up the escalator, this fellow, I guess he was the manager. He says, "Sir," and I turn as we're running up the escalator. He says, uh, "Do you want to uh, pay for some of those things that you have in your bag?" And I said, "Listen." Mister, I didn't put anything in my bag. Let's go downstairs and I'll show you. So I went downstairs uh, and uh, I took everything out of my bag and I laid it on the floor. And I said, see, I didn't put anything in my bag and uh, I don't want to shop in your store. And then I uh, said a compound word to him where the last part of the word is the word whole. Yeah. I wouldn't give these sons of bitches a dime in fucking hell if you gave me a thousand dollars. They can kiss my ass. Fuck the Salvation Army. And have a nice day. Got an old slouch hat. Got my roll on my shoulder. I'm as free as a breeze, and I'll do as I please, just a bummer around.